All right, sunny day. Oh, it was amazing. And this is going to be great for sound. This episode of Super Boca Bros is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for setting up your own slick looking website. But yes, right here, I have got the brand new Sony 2470. I've kind of lost count. They, they keep updating their lenses, like the Mark II. Like how many, how many 24 to 70 have, have they got? I don't, they've got the 2470 G Master. Have they got a 2470 F4? I don't I know. think so, yeah. So just the two of them then? I mean, it seems like a while ago, their thing was coming out with new cameras every few months, just updating it. Okay, yeah, you've, you've had this for a few months. Boom, we're going to introduce a new one. They got bored of that. Yeah. They're doing it with lenses now. <laughs> You, oh, you got, a, you got a lens? Oh, boom, we're going to introduce a new one. So what's new? Uh, well, I guess Sony do, in, I mean, Sony do listen to their customers. Uh, that's why they're always updating their colour science. With lenses, you can't really do colour science. So they've made this smaller and more lightweight. Because one thing with Sony lenses is that they have been quite big and heavy, which makes the balance a bit, ooh, a bit ooh. This it is very lightweight. 2470. That's as far as you extend, isn't it? I don't know if the if I take it off. <laughs> no. <laughs> we know what Locke is like with, with dropping things that aren't his. Yeah, this is 2.8. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. It's light for 2.8, isn't it? It feels like a F4. Yeah. With the original G Master weighing in at 886 grams, new lens coming in at 695 grams is noticeably lighter, yet still a bit heavier than the 426 gram 24-70 F4. It feels like a kit lens. <laughs> they managed to make it feel like a cheap kit lens. But that's fine. But one thing is, of course, there are, I mean, it does feel a little bit plasticky. I'd probably say it's some kind of professional grade plastic. I don't professional know. Grade. It's, it's still plastic. Plastic is plastic, right? But that's fine. One thing is, the front bit does stick out a little bit more than the rest of the, the body of the lens. Uh, is that going to bother you? Maybe not. But at least the barrel of the lens is thinner. But look at the glass. It goes right to the edge almost. They don't even have enough space to put lots of branding and tell you what. I mean, where. Time. It's, it's time. It's bokeh time. 82 millimeters thread. That's great for like most ND filter, whatever it would be. 82. The feel of the lens. It doesn't feel like a 82 millimeter width. Yeah, exactly. Lens. Yeah, that's true. So this is not that big, and then suddenly, boom, 82. But this is interesting. Look, do you like it smooth or tight? How do you like it? Like, tight. Do you like it smooth or do you like it tight? But. Can I have both? <laughs> Smooth and tight. No, you cannot. Can you maybe maybe if you have it somewhere in between? <laughs> oh, Smooth and tight. Smooth and tight at the same time. No, but so what does it mean? Smooth is so you can do this oh, for smoothly. The, for the zoom. For the zoom ring, you mean? So you can do a little kind of. I should put it on video. Let me show you. So we do a little news report and we zoom smoothly into people walking along the street. It's going to be too bright because I don't have a filter on. I'm tight. This is what tight is like. Oof. Actually, that's quite, that's quite nice if you want to kind of slowly creep in. It's easier to kind of creep in slowly with the tight on. It's almost like with power zoom, you can have it really fast or really slow. Next time they will have a like friction boy. <laughs> it's like a more like a ball head. But I, th I think what they've said in the press briefing was that tight is for when you're carrying it. So you won't accidentally get knocked. I mean that, that seems like a, a very minor thing. I never think, oh no, oh no. As oh, life's so difficult, it's been knocked to a different focal length. <laughs> oh. But yeah, they also said for smooth, if you're doing stills, you can just quickly zoom in, you know, to a different focal length. Uh, th yeah, this is kind of like tighter than most lens. Yeah. And then smooth. Oh, and, and lighter than mo mo normal lens, most lens. 
At the minute, smooth is like when you've used a 2470 for a long time and yeah. it's just kind of become a bit slack. Yeah. Maybe the next Sony lens will have tight, smooth and loose. <laughs> would, you like, would you like your ring to be smooth, tight or loose? Okay, well yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a kind of standard click on and off. It's become standard, hasn't it? Especially on Sony. And uh, aperture ring, I love it. Yeah. And an iris lock. There's a lot of switches on this lens. Yeah. So wow. Well, four. I wouldn't say that's a lot, but... <laughs> but hang on, you, you said it's supposed to be better with uh, stabilization. Yes, but, apparently it's improved for video. But does it have OSS? No, it doesn't. Um, no. So, actually, what? what? <laughs> so improve stabilization by not putting in stabilization. Because there's something I shouldn't show you. Because then they're, they're <laughs> no, not supposed. We'll cut this. We'll cut this out. This is top secret stuff. I can't tell you, otherwise I'll have to smash up your camera. Well, that's why you dropped the set line. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, <laughs> We're getting into habit of dropping things recently. What do you mean? You dropped me, my filters. Me. You dropped my filters. How long is that? Long time ago. It doesn't matter, you dropped it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry! Oh no! <laughs> Optimized in body OIS. How does it. Uh, wow. Well. Whatever they say. But they said in the briefing that it's optimi um, optimized, better optimized in body OIS. Which is better? But there's no, there's no OIS in the, in the camera body. That's not, op that's not optical image stabilization, is it? Well, it's kind of optical, the, the, the sensor move. I would have so thought they called OSS as well, because steady shot is their thing, it's not image stabilization. Yeah. Anyway, the point is, there is no actual optical steady shot, but the lens has been optimised for use with the in-body stabilisation, especially useful for video. Stabilisation for video does seem good, kind of surprisingly. Even though these are at 50p in slowdown, I wasn't expecting the handheld shots to look so stable, even without optical steady shot. They've improved the focus breathing. Breathing, breathing all round is better. Optimised. Yes, just optimised in-body breathing. Six years on from the OG GM and understandably they want to make it more beneficial for video shooters too. But it's not just about that. They've beefed up the optical formula too. Pant, my, tr my trousers keep falling down. So in terms of design, it's all fancy. It's got three spherical elements and then two of everything else. They've got two XA, which is extreme spherical. They don't quite know how to spell extreme. It doesn't begin with an X. That's for controlling distance-related aberrations. Then you've got two ED, and then you've got two super EDs for chromatic aberration. <laughs> just, oh, well, you've got two ED. You've got two super ones as well. Just because just the two normal EDs are not enough, we've got two super ones and two extreme aspherical's. So, yes, I mean, let's, let's take a look at the Aberrations, aberrations and stuff, that. All of the lens compensation has been switched off in the menu and I didn't find any noticeable chromatic aberration in the shots I took. More is more of the new lens. One more XA, one more ED and one more Super ED than the old GM. It is very sharp throughout the range, it's only at 24mm. Unsurprisingly that you will see some vignetting wide open, which is not so visible at 35mm and longer. Also, at the widest focal length you get significant barrel distortion, which is the norm with standard zooms. Now we're talking about numbers, four XD linear motors. In other words, faster focusing, faster, better. Accurate as well. Less, less stuff, less, 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 less stuff, and more of more. I guess the, the, the linear motor is like, oh, it's linear motor is faster, and they got four of them because they got a uh, heavy elements. I think they would say that and linear motor, like fast and accurate, it's like boom, straight, straight to that point, well, let's try straight for, to the point. Let's try, for, let's try the video, I mean, never really had a problem with Sony's focus anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. They say that the autofocus will be quick enough for tracking subjects, even in 30 FPS bursts. What I say is, I mean, for this completely scientific test, thumbs up.
Gold Award. I give it, I give it the DP Review Gold Award. Five stars. Yes, 99.9% Super Boca Bros Gold Award. That is like the industry standard for, yes, you should buy this right now. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag actually probably affiliates down below. So help the channel. And this video is also sponsored by Squarespace. So there you go. If you want to set up your own website, online store, just your own domain, it's super easy to get started with Squarespace with a slick, easy to use interface filled with a plethora of templates to choose from and with 24-7 customer service to help you out if you need it. You can give it a try with a 14-day free trial and 10% off your first order by using this link and discount code. Tighten up my trousers, probably not the best place to do it outside a underwear shop. People think I'm probably having a little sneaky, cheeky play with the old fella downstairs. Is somebody going to tell them that they put the curtains on the wrong side of the windows? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, oh no, how do, I, how do I close the curtains? I have to go out every time I close the curtains. See, they, they almost got it right, but they've put the rugs in the windows. What is going on with this street? Oh, what else has it got? It's got brand new hood, which I can show you. Brilliantly exhibited by the lack of a hood, but it's got a new hood. And then a crystal coating too, which is, uh, you can see through the filter there. Brand new. Totally. Yeah, fluorine coating. So you can, you can gob on it, you can spit on it. You can uh, get sweat, all sorts of liquids. Try it. Which is just, just about the right time. I can do one right. Well, 2470. It's, it's like one of the most useful zoom lenses. I think it's become even more useful with the fact that it's quite lightweight. 2472.8s have never been much fun to carry around. I remember back in the, the Canon DSLR oh, days. Oh, that one, that one is heavy. The 2.8, that, that was a beast of a lens. That was like uh, those cups. And it's full as well. <laughs> full of coffee. Full of, full of lead, full of mercury. <laughs> But this is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's nice. Yes, it feels like an F4. This actually feels like a proper zoom lens made for mirrorless. Change the minimum focusing distance. It's actually the same throughout the range. Hang on, no, no, no. It's 21 centimeters to 30 centimeters. Before the minimum focusing distance was uh, 38 centimeters. So therefore you get maximum magnification of 0.32 times versus 0.24 times of the old. Wow, really quick that you calculate that. Uh, yeah, just all these facts coming straight off the mind. Oh no, you can get feed some people. feed people. Go get some. I dare you to go inside and, and say, I like I like a person, please. Like a, what do you have? <laughs> I'd like I'd like a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. I'd like a girlfriend. When it comes to 2470s, I've always preferred the larger aperture one compared to F4, but usually the F4 one is the, the one of optical stabilization. For stills, it doesn't really matter too much. The large aperture is always more useful for stills, I find, than optical stabilization. And, and, unless, you know, you want to take handheld light trails or something without a tripod. But as the 2470 F4 has average performance and isn't much lighter, the 2470 GM2 is shaping up to be the lens that can replace the old GM and the 2470 F4, what have to optimize whatever they call it in body stabilization with this lens, making this new lens as good, if not better for handheld video than the 2470 F4 OSS. As decent and performing the old GM was, I never really appreciated it because it was slightly too front heavy. The GM2 has an abundance of plastic feel, but it shouldn't be problematic unless you're using it to play baseball with. Like with a lot of their new lenses, at least Sony is trying to address a common mirrorless problem. Lens too big and heavy for a lightweight body. This new lens is light in weight, but not light in performance. Image quality is fantastic, supremely sharp, and it doesn't flare or ghost much at all, as much as I try to get it to. Bokeh is mostly good, although it is sometimes a little harsh, but overall, a change for the better, and sort of renders the 2470 F4 kind of pointless. That is, unless you're not okay with paying over £2,000 for this.